Hello everyone, I'm Jim from Jim Shape Coding. In this video, you are going to learn about two different types of attributes. Actually, we discussed about one of them in the last episodes and they were attributes that are assigned to each instance. So this kind of attribute that is going to be a part of a specific instance and its value is going to change from one instance to another is called instance attributes. Now, we are going to write a program just in a second to store information for our personal store. For example, we can create a class that is called item and then we can create items that are existing in our store by creating their instances of the item class. Now, attributes like name, price or quantity are good candidates for instance attributes. So before we go through more explanation, let's create a program for this situation. So we will start by creating a class called item. So class item. And then as I said, creating attributes like name, price or quantity could be good examples to put some information about our store. So this is exactly what we are going to do now. And we will do that in the constructor itself. So def double underscore init, and then we will accept some information such as name, price, and then quantity, just to show off how many of that specific item we are having. So self.name inside of the constructor is going to be equal to name, and self.price equals to price, and so with the quantity itself. And this is how we create a constructor and we already have done that in the last episode. So after I have done that, we will go outside of our class and start creating some instances, all right? And we are outside of our class right now. So we have a convention in this kind of situations and I did not talk about that yet. When you finish create your instance, it is a convention to go outside of your class and then hit the enter twice. And this is actually the location you should be right now if you are writing code outside of your class. So make sure to leave two lines when you finish working on your class. So here we will create our items. And let's say that item one is going to be equal to item and our name is going to be equal to a shirt, for example. And price will be $10 for now. And quantity will be 50. All right. And let's create our second item. So we will create an item once again. And this time our name will be pants and the price will be $20 and quantity will be 100, all right? So what we did here is actually simulated a situation that we own a store and we are just putting some information about our items inside that store. So now I'm going to take you to a situation where we want to create an overall discount of 20% on all of our items. So this kind of situation leads you to think about what you can do now in order to write efficient code. Now, what you don't want to do probably is going inside of our each item and decrease their prices manually by 20%. So you don't want to go off to that item one and writing besides $10, $8 because this time you are not going to be quite efficient in your code. So what you can do instead is actually using another kind of attribute that is called class attributes. Now the beauty behind class attributes is actually this kind of attribute is going to be global and accessible from each of our instance and you can just create them in the very first line when you create a class. So let me show you. If I go to that second line and create a variable like after discount and make this to be equal to 0 0.8, then we just defined a class attribute. 
Now, what is going on here and why I have done the value of after discount 0.8? And the reason is, if you think about a product that its price is $10, then if you have 20% discount on it, you are going to pay 80% of that product. So this is why I defined a variable that its value is 0.8. And now what I can do is actually create a method that will return the price of the item when you make a discount, all right? So now we can create a method called apply discount and this will receive self as a parameter and then I can return the self.price multiplied by after discount. Now, what is going on here and why do I have an error when I do write the after discount variable? So, the reason is a class attribute in Python, as you know already, is a variable that belongs to a class rather than a particular object. Now, because it belongs to a class, we can just access this variable like this because it belongs to the item class. So what we can do instead is calling to that item class object first and then access its attribute that we just created. So if we will go through the item object and then hit the dot sign, you will see its attributes. Now let's do this. And if I go and write item and then hit the dot sign, and as you see, I get the after discount field or attribute recognized and now I don't receive any error. Now I know that this might be a little confusing but we have to remember since the after discount is part of the class itself then we have to access the class object first and then later on we can go and pull that after discount attribute. And now let me show you a situation where we apply discount for the item one. So item one dot apply discount. And since this apply discount, all right. So let's just print the value we will receive after calling this method. So if we go here and print an F string like this, and pull off the item one, apply discount for a second, and then we will go with a sentence like the price of item one dot name after discount is, then we will just apply the discount, all right? So if we go and run this, you see that the result is as expected, and we received eight back after the discount and the original price was 10. So this is actually a great example that we can create class attributes. Now let me minimize this back a second and show you one more important fact about the class attributes. We have to understand that the class attributes are also accessible from the object itself. So if for example I go down a line Let's actually delete this print for a second and let's access the item one attribute once again. And as you see, I got the after discount attribute as well. So I can just print it and show you that if I run this, I get the 0.8 back. Now, why this is happening? What we have to understand here is how the instance of every class in Python is thinking. So when you try to access an attribute of an instance, it is going to search for the attribute inside the instance in the very first stage. Now, as you notice, the after discount attribute is not defined anywhere inside of the item one. So since item one is not going to find this attribute, then it is going to search for that attribute in the class. So it is kind of a priority that the instance does when it searches for attributes. So now, in order to prove what I have just said, we can create a new attribute 
that is not related to the initialize method, meaning the constructor. And as you guessed right, we will call it after discount and make this to be equal to 0 0.7. And now if we run this program once again, and as you see, I got the print item one dot after discount right after it. And by executing this, you will see that I get 0.7 and not 0.8 because the item one instance found that attribute inside of the instance itself. So it is also a great point to understand how the classes in Python are working. And now let me minimize this one final time and show you one more important thing. Now, if we are thinking of a case that we want to apply 20% for all of our products in our store, but for the shirts, meaning the item one, we want to apply 30%. So what we can do here is actually changing the item to self. And why we can do that? And the reason we can do this is as you know the class attributes are accessible from the class object and as I said it is also shared between all the objects of a class so we can hit the self object and access the after discount so since I have done that we can delete those two lines here and write code like this so we will change the after discount only in item 1 to 0 0.7 and then we will run code like this so print and then we will run f string and we will say something like the price of item one dot name after discount is and then we will call the method apply discount all right, and since I changed the after discount in the instance itself, then it is going to look for the attribute 0 0.7 because it is changed from item, which is the name of the class, to self. All right, and now if I duplicate this line and change that to 2 from 1 and run this code, you will see that the price of shirt after discount is discounted by 30% because the original price was 10 and the discount in item 2 is actually still 20% because what item 2 did, it searched for the attribute in the instance itself and since it's not defined there as you see in the code here, then it pulled the attribute from the item object and therefore we got 20% discount. All right, everyone, I hope this class was not confusing because we covered a lot of points here and consider watching this video maybe twice if you want to understand this more clear. This is what I have done before I understood the difference between class attributes and instance attributes and how they are working together. So don't forget to crack the subscribe button and like this video. I will see you in the next episode.